everyone and welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new to this channel, I am a cosmetic and skincare development chemist and I'm here to teach you everything you need to know about cosmetic and skincare products. So today we are talking about sodium hydroxide, also known as caustic soda. Now sodium hydroxide is one of those ingredients a lot of people fear being on the ingredients list as alone Sodium hydroxide is one of the most corrosive substances available. In fact, with Google giving search results such as this, hesitancy is completely understandable. However, used correctly in skincare, sodium hydroxide is not harmful. In fact, it can actually have some benefits. So why do we need to use sodium hydroxide in the first place? Well, some of you may know our skin is slightly acidic with a pH of 5 to 5.5. pH is a measure of the concentration of positively charged hydrogen atoms, also known as hydronium ions, in solution or a substance. In order to ensure our product doesn't react with the skin, causing dry, cracked, red or irritated skin, we have to balance the concentration of these hydronium ions in the skin with that of our product. In other words, we have to match the pHs. And we do this by using acids and bases. One of the most commonly used bases is sodium citrate. However, there are situations in which sodium citrate cannot be used. This may be when certain thickeners are used, in which sodium citrate may react with causing the product to precipitate or split. Other situations is when we have a rather acidic product, such as a chemical exfoliant. Sodium citrate is a very weak base, and in these situations, a lot of sodium citrate would have to be used to bring the pH back up to an appropriate level. So in these instances, we need sodium hydroxide. Now, in a product that is composed mainly of water, which is basically all skincare and cosmetic products, sodium hydroxide disassociates into positively charged sodium atoms, also known as sodium cations, and negatively charged hydroxide molecules, also known as hydroxide anions. Now in solution, these negatively charged hydroxide ions are attracted to the positively charged hydronium ions pulling some of them out from solution and binding together. Now this forms water, while the positively charged sodium ion forms a salt. And with some of those hydronium ions out of the product, the pH is increased. This means that sodium hydroxide in your skincare is not harmful or toxic at all to your skin but know that it is there to make sure the product is at a safe pH for your skin. Finally, you may be wondering, well, it's all well and good that sodium hydroxide doesn't harm your skin, but how can it possibly be beneficial? Now, this is relative to other acids and bases used in skincare products. I mentioned before that sodium citrate is most commonly used, but it is a rather weak base. So, in an instance where you may need 15 or 20 grams of sodium citrate, just a few drops of sodium hydroxide might do the job. Therefore, you have less potentially irritating substances in your product overall. So that's all for today, guys. Don't forget to comment if you have any questions at all and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.